Hey anglers, this is Juan Brute from Juan Brute Fishing. If you're into fly fishing, if you're into conventional fishing, if you're into backpack fishing and kayak fishing, go ahead and like my channel or like a video on my channel, subscribe to my channel. There's more stuff to come. I also got a blog that I'm working on too that will be a companion piece to this. So today um, I wanted to share with you some things I found out about Tenkara fishing. I just started Tenkara fishing. Um, but I tend to break things down really quickly into their simplest parts. That's how I taught my kai fishing classes for over a decade. And so I'm going to teach you today how to connect your level line. What's a level line in, in tenkara fishing? It's this right here. It's basically a non-tapered line. It could be fluorocarbon. It could be um, monofilament. Um, and it could be as long as, what, 10, 12, 13, 14 feet long. So it's basically like your fly leader in tenkara fishing. And there are ways to connect this to this Lillian um, that I'm going to show you at least one quick, easy way to do that. Um, and so that's what I'm going to do today in today's video. How do you connect this to this in the easiest possible way? So the easiest way to connect anything to your Tenkara rod is by using, obviously, the Lillian that comes on most Tenkara rods. Yeah, where are you? So the easiest way to connect, and you know, your lines that you're going to use um, level line or braided lines or even some types of fly lines sometimes are made for tenkara fishing now um, is to obviously connect it to the Lillian which is why this exists on the tip of your tenkara rod. Um, the only thing you really need to do to prepare the Lillian in most cases is tie an overhand knot and I just try to tie mine as close to the end as I can. That knot all it does is act as a stop to stop the line from sliding off if, if the connection is a little bit looser. And so that's how you prepare your Lillian. You tie an overhand knot in your Lillian. Now we're going to do probably the most difficult thing, which is figure out a way to connect uh, a level line uh, that doesn't have a loop in it already, uh, which is made of fluorocarbon. It's basically your leader. Um, the one I'm gonna connect today is a 13 foot leader that I've used just recently to fish. You can see there's no loop on the end. So how would I connect this? Uh, there's a simple way to make a, a really quick, fast uh, slip loop uh, to connect to the, to the Lillian. And, uh, and it's also a great way to reuse your line and not have to cut it off. And I'm going to show that to you right now. So I'm going to drop the, the uh, Lillian here. And I'm going to go ahead and unravel this a little bit so I don't have enough line to work with. So it's really simple. All you got to do is take what will become your tag end. The very end of your line here will become your tag end. There, get it in the, in the video. The very end of your line will become your tag end. So I grab my tag end here. Then I'm going to make a loop by coming over top and towards me. So I'm coming over top. It's got a twist in it, so it's not going to look quite right. So I'm, I'm coming over top with this line and towards me. So I'm laying that line over top to make a loop. Now I just grab it with my thumb that has my what will become my tag end here. So now I've created this loop, simple loop, just by laying that line on top towards me. Now I take the rest of the line, the line that's leading to my fly here, and I'm going to grab some of that, and then I'm going to push a loop from the back toward, to the front here, from the back to the front. And this is actually going to become our loop. So now I grab that as it comes through. And now all I have to do is I take this and I pull it down tight. I'm getting a little wonky here, but it'll slip anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I've got this now. You can see how it's formed. Pull it down tight. Now this is now our slip loop, okay, which is awesome. Here's a great thing about it. So I'm going to teach you how to connect it to the Lillian next. But the cool thing is once I'm done with this and I've taken it off the Lillian, um, I don't have to cut my line. I can just pull this through and boom. I mean, it will deform the line over time and you probably will need to like cut a small section um, to keep it from, you know, getting chewed up and broken. But again, real simple. Come grab my tag end here. So this can, becomes my tag end, the very end of the line. Grab the tag end. Create a loop by coming forward towards me and laying the line on top. Laying the, coming towards me, laying the line on top, and I pinch that off. And I just take the rest of the main line here that leads to my fly, take some of that, come around behind that loop I've created, and I'm going to push up through, and this becomes our real loop. Boom, push up through. Line's getting a little deformed, but it's still easy to work with. And now... I've got my 
slip knot started. You can see that how that looks, should look. Boom, there's my slip knot. And again, my tag here is a little bit long. I, you know, if I wasn't doing this in front of the camera, <laughs> I'd make it about, you know, an inch long or so, just so I have something to grab onto, I want that. And now when I connect this to my Lillian, I can pull on this, pull it tight. I'm done at the end of the day. So I take it off my Lillian. I just take the very, very tag end and the main line, pull them apart, boom, and I'm good to go for the next time I go fishing. Okay, now that I've showed you how to make a slip knot, a simple slip knot, I've got this loop here, and now I've got my Lillian right here. Now I wanna figure out how to connect these two. Um, you could just lay it over top and cinch it down, and that would likely work. Um, a better way to do it is, again, I'm gonna make sure, see my tip here, make sure my tip's inside of my tube so I don't accidentally break off the tip, that's really important. So I push it inside here. Now my tip is inside, so I can't accidentally snap this off against the end of my rod. So I push it inside first, grab my Lillian. Now all I'm gonna do is actually wrap this Lillian around the top of my loop once, like this. And that makes, basically made kind of a two wrap. So I let, wrap, wrap, or sorry, wrap it around once around the top of my, of my loop. Now all I gotta do is pull. And then that cinches it down tight. You've got the stopper here in case it slips and it likely will not the way that we've done this by wrapping it like that. So there you've got it. Now to get this off, all I have to do is basically pull on the lily and pull on the tag end of my slip knot. You can see how that came out really quick. And then I do this when I'm done fishing or I want to switch different level lines and I'm good to go. And if I want to put this level line away, I usually just do this, boom, and I'm good. I just wrap up my level line, and I'm good to go. And then I ch or change it out, or I put my rod away for another day.